For me, cooking has always been a way of being creative. I was never really good at anything else, <laughs> except for cooking. I've always loved the idea of food bringing people together. It started with helping my mom, just in the kitchen, putting dinner on the table. And so next thing you know, I'm standing on a stool, stir-frying vegetables in a big wok. I just became my mom's little sous chef, and it eventually evolved into my career. I'm Chef Melissa King, and I'm the creator of CoLab. It's a collaborative pop-up dinner to really bring the community together through local makers and local artisans. We have a month to take over someone's restaurant and turn it into my own. There's so many chefs out there. They have their day jobs at their restaurants, but on the weekends, they're looking for something more. That's what the pop-up culture offers them, is they're able to take over someone's restaurant for only a few hours and convert it into their own identity. You just start linking things together and see what works, and that's usually how I come up with my flavor profiles. So I'm really trying to incorporate all of these artisans together throughout the menu, but to do it in a different way that may seem surprising. I love the idea of just bridging that all together into my own style. So the partners that we've got that we're working with are gonna be Phil's Coffee. I love that Phil's Coffee is a part of this. Phil's on Castro is like your Saturday morning <laughs> ritual. Thinking of doing um, like a sheep's yogurt ice cream for the dessert to go with the Phil's Coffee. So we kind of want to bridge in both partners. And then we just locked in Four Point, which I'm really excited about. The brewery? Yep. Nice. I had always wanted to do pop-up dinners, but was always somehow scared. There was something holding me back. And after coming home from filming Top Chef, it built a lot of confidence in me as a chef and as a person. To walk away from that with these amazing friendships, when it came to trying to find my first guest chef, it was a no-brainer. Hello. Hi. What's up? Hi. Hi. Everybody's goal when they go into a show like Top Chef is to open up your own restaurant. Nobody really knows what kind of food that I'm doing other than what they've seen on TV. For the dessert course, I want to highlight the chocolate, the coffee, as well as the cheese. Beer and octopus with beer beans, yeah. <laughs> right? You can tell we were bred from like the same yeah. kitchen. Very traditional Chinese households where working in the kitchen is like the last place they want you to be. We broke through that and followed our dreams. Doing these types of pop-ups is a way to show people how you're evolving. It's a way to let people taste your food. The Eventbrite ticketing page is up, so we've already got a thousand hits. What? Exciting. After like the first day, once everyone's all together in one room, sitting down, having dinner, I think that's going to be that really special moment for me. I can't wait to start cooking. Being able to work with other artists throughout the local community, we inspire each other. Something about it is really magical. That's what keeps me cooking. <laughs>